Hey everybody, this is CamoWolf55, welcoming you to my very first LP, Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 1. So, let's begin by going down to the game, and Metal Gear Solid, select. As you can see, I am playing the digital version. I have the disc version as well, but I decided might as well just play the digital version. It's a little easier. Not gameplay-wise, but just having it on the system-wise. Yeah, so original PlayStation 1 game, one of my favorites, I gotta say. Absolutely one of the best games of all time, I believe. And the first one, too. I think it's my favorite of the series. Also, this little soundbite for the Konami. I love that, so we'll just listen in. If this black screen ever uh, decides to move forward. Any day now. Yeah, I don't know why I like that little sound, but just something about it. Maybe it's nostalgia. I don't know. Anyway, um, in this playthrough, I'm not really going to commentate over any of the cutscenes. Um, beginning with this intro here, I'll just give a quick intro to the intro. This intro is basically giving us a background story into uh, leading up to the gameplay. So we'll just uh, listen in. Nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces, being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then... We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Okay guys, so there we have a little intro into the uh, storyline of the game. Um, I suspect most of you who are watching this have probably, if not played Metal Gear Solid already, uh, at least know something about Metal Gear Solid, so none of this is really going to come as much of a surprise to you. But storyline plays a pretty crucial part in this game, so yeah, like I said, I'm not going to commentate over any of the storyline uh, cutscenes because they are crucial to this game, and they are gets a little hard to understand at some times. So, yeah. Anyway, here we have the main menu. Um, pretty basic options here. You can go into briefing if you want. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, it's not going to tell us anything new, really. Um, 
standard options. Uh, VR training, if you're first time playing through, it can be a little handy. It teaches you the basics. Super, super basic. Uh, I do like the music a lot in it, though. It's pretty cool. Um, anyway, us, though, we are going to start a new game, and we're going to go on normal mode. And we're going to go right into another little cutscene here. There's no shortage of cutscenes in this game. And the music is also really, really nice in this game. I like it a lot. And the voice acting. Everything about this game, really, I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite games of all time. And for, for when it was created, the, the, uh, the voice acting is just unreal. It's just fantastic, in my opinion. To a codec conversation. Also, no shortage of these in this game, but they're also pretty sick. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Okay, basically this is our little intro area to the game. Uh, you'll see in the upper right corner there we have our Soliton radar. The uh, blinking white dot is me, Solid Snake. And the red dots are enemies, and the blue kind of cones that come out of them is their field of vision. And basically you want to stay out of that. Obviously you're trying not to be seen. Um, if you press up against the wall, you go back against it, and you can kind of slide up and down against it. Camera angle changes accordingly. Crawl under obstacles. Uh, okay, let's try and make a little dashboard here. Also, puddles and stuff, if you step in them, they will make noise and they will attract enemies. So, you gotta keep that into, in mind as well when you're doing this. Anyway, Sultan Radar, they kinda got rid of in the other games. Um, it makes things fairly simple compared to. Ooh, I gotta. Okay, basically, we're trying to get up in this elevator. So up we go. And... Kodak. Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. Oh, we already know that, Campbell. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You better hide okay, somewhere. Okay, so we gotta hide and wait for the elevator to come down. So... I'm gonna go down here. Hopefully the guy's not coming around here. No one can hear me go through this puddle. Oh, shit. Okay, we're gonna go back down over here. What? Sorry about that, guys. I didn't think, uh, <laughs> I guess I didn't think that guy was going to be coming up there. It might be a little rusty at this game. I haven't played it in quite some time, I guess. Um,. I shouldn't be caught anywhere near that easily, though. That was just stupid on my behalf, really. Okay, and here comes the elevator. Alright, now I just gotta make it back over to that elevator, which should not be difficult at all. What was that noise? He's gonna try and fall us over here. Then we'll just swoop up around this way. Oh, there's three guys here? I thought there was only two. Yeah, 
Anyway, yeah, when you press against the wall, it usually gives you a pretty nice camera angle. Huh? What was that noise? Sometimes gotta lure guys around. Hmm. And there we go, we're in the elevator. So basically, the name of this game, obviously, as you probably gathered, is Don't Get Caught. I stupidly got caught there somehow in the first little area. I think that's the first time I've ever been caught in that area, actually. It's a little embarrassing, but we'll just go from here on out. Basically, yeah, that's us, Solid Snake. Solid Snake is one of the most badass characters in any video game I can think of. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of a cross between uh, Snake Plissken from Escape from New York and Kyle Reese from Terminator. The attitude's a little bit more like Snake Plissken, and of course, obviously, the name's Snake, but he's kind of got a similar, similar look to uh, Kyle Reese. Anyway, so that was kind of the little intro area. disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. Thanks to the VR training I did on board the Discovery. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D? Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so cute. Oh, man. <laughs> You're just I love the back and forth between Snake no, and mailing in this game. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Solitan radar system. Alright, I guess we're just the gonna go over what I already went over. You, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. 
Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. Uh, by the way, sorry to disappoint you, but man, I did manage to smuggle all out the my ladies. smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. All right, so this is still time to get the cutscene. I don't know how to do get this. In, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers, pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Okay, so now we resume control again. Uh, basically there we were just introduced to two other characters. Uh, Naomi, she's kind of like the scientist behind the whole thing. Uh, she controls all our nano machines and uh, other such helpful technology. And Mei Ling, who is very, very important to this uh, whole game, really. She, she is how you save. You call her basically on your codec when you save, and it's super handy. Speaking of which, I'm probably going to save and end this episode off right away. Just go over a few of the things quickly. Um, if you hold down the L1 button, it brings up your items here. So, got the cigarettes. Salt Snake's favorite brand. Smoking is hazardous to your health. So, yeah, basically, you smoke these, you actually will lose life. Um, kind of a funny little side effect of the game. Um, but they come in for a purpose later if you neglect to get one item. Rations basically uh, heal you, heal life. Um, if you keep them on you, uh, if you keep it open in your menu just like this, then they'll automatically use if you if your health goes down to zero. And then scope, which is kind of what they were using that little cutscene there, which uh, comes in handy occasionally. Uh, for now, we'll just put rations there. And then this is our this will be our weapon slots. Um, we don't have any weapons at the moment, so there'll be no slots there. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna save and end off the episode here. So we'll just give Mei Ling a call. And also, yeah, if you click down here to, uh, to memory, it'll bring up uh, frequencies that you've used before, uh, which comes in very handy later, trust me. Oh, yeah. Also, <laughs> every the activation for this game, everything is circles, the action button, which always throws me off. And X is the go back button, which completely, I don't know, it's wonky, because like, usually X, as I'm sure most of you guys know, is the, is the action button. But nope, this game is circle. You get used to it pretty quick, though. What can I do for you, Snake? Alright, and so we're going to save. 
error card one, new file. All right, and there we go. We are at the heliport. 14 minutes in. Uh, this episode's a little bit longer than that, obviously. We have the whole beginning cutscene. Uh, basically, as we go through the game, you'll see as we go through with uh, Mei Ling, they have some pretty good back and forth. Um, I enjoy it. I don't know. I really like the snake Mei Ling uh, relationship in this game, I suppose. I also really like, I don't know, I really like the uh, the, the whole codec thing. Just like the green screens and the, I don't know. I, 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 I'm a fan. I like it. All right. Well, this is uh, Camo Wolf 55 signing off. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in to my first episode of my first LP. Uh, there will be more to come. Uh, hopefully I do not disappoint. And I uh, look forward to seeing your guys' comments and seeing how I can get better, I guess. All right. Peace out.